Yes, everyone, it is Christine McVie sitting with us here. We're hanging today on All Star Gems. And, well, I'd like to say you just dropped by because you wanted to visit. You're actually here because you've got a little something to promote as well. Oh, uh, yes, I'm afraid so. <laughs> it's, it's worth talking about. It's called In the Meantime. It's Christine's first solo album in nearly 20 years. It's in stores now. It's already got a great single off of it called Friend which I'm sure you're hearing on uh, AAA radio everywhere. Now, as the expression goes, this isn't your first time at the rodeo. You had a solo album about 20 years ago. But uh, these are different periods in your life. So uh, I guess, how is the artistic validation different for you this time versus the last solo album? Well, I mean, I've, I've never, I mean, to start with, I've never considered myself to be a solo artist. I mean, these are just songs. I, I don't quite know how to explain it. I've, I've, I've never had a, a solo act. Mm -hmm. I've never frontlined a band. I, I, I did have, as my brother says in there, a brief skirmish with a solo career. and I, I, It wasn't for me. I didn't feel comfortable at all. So I don't quite know how you describe this move in my life or the one 20 years ago. And actually there was another album 20 years before that called The Legendary Christine Perfect. Why Legendary? I don't know. I mean, number one to be a legend, number two to be perfect. Was this know. when you were with, or before Chicken Shack? Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, no, it was shortly after Chicken okay. Shack, or during. I could so long ago, I can't remember. Oh, I want to hear that record. You don't, trust me. No, you don't. You, you don't. don't. <laughs> Hang my head in shame when I think You've got it. such an amazing voice, though. You should be considering um, yourself solo. Not back then, I didn't. I, I think I squeaked about. Actually, there was one decent song called I'd Rather Go Blind. Mm -hmm. which was an old Etta James right. song. And I recorded that, and that was actually got into the charts in England. So, uh, Do you feel your voice has gotten better with age? Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, that is, it's not only age, it's experience, isn't it, mm -hmm. and practice, you know. But uh, probably stopping the smoking helps. Yeah, I'm sure it does. Do, do you still train? I mean, vocal training? No, just breathing in and out. <laughs> Yeah. Maybe it'll work for me if I keep trying. <laughs> All right, great. Well, obviously, the technology has changed a lot, too, in recording yeah. 20 years ago. Now you're working with computers, I imagine, a lot, and that's got to be a bit confusing, right? Well, it is for me, but then I don't... <coughs> excuse me, I don't have to press the buttons. My, my nephew's really good at that. We just rented a Pro Tools and did it that way. Isn't it amazing? It's incredible. I mean, it does make make life a lot easier I mean people say it makes it faster but I don't necessarily think that's true because your choices are so monumental right. infinitesimal um, but it's it, there are aspects which make it easier and, and more intimate right. are you going to be making a video at all? no No. how do you feel about music videos? some artists love the visual medium some <coughs> find it limiting and you just choose not to because why? <laughs> Well, I guess why? Well, I mean, I, I, I didn't choose not to. It's just that I didn't choose to. Uh, number one, since I'm not touring, it's not financially rewarding to, to put a video out. Um, you asked me what I thought about videos in yeah, general. Yeah, what do you think about videos well, in I mean, general? I, mean, I, I think that in my, back in my day, you know, during the rumours era, there were no videos. Right. I mean, I think the first video we ever made was hold me and then gypsy mm -hmm. and uh, in those days you only had the music to evoke mm -hmm. what, whatever thoughts you were having i mean these days sometimes if the video is great and the song's bad you can still have a hit song mm -hmm. but if the song is great and the video is bad it it's the song fair. can flop right. you know so sometimes, I mean, I'm not, not, I'm not saying that videos are a bad thing. It's just a different art form. It's a whole different, and, and very important, but um, it's just completely, completely different from, from when I first started recording. How do you feel about the music scene today? Uh, there's a lot of it. There is a lot of it. Too much of it, too much of it. I mean, there's, there's, the choices are infinitesimal, aren't they? I mean, I, mm -hmm. um, I, I choose not to listen to the radio very much, to be honest with you. I, when I do, I listen to classical music. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So, well, I'll tell you one thing I love about the music scene today, and that is the fact that legendary artists over 40 are coming back, and, you know, albums like this are back on the radio, and this is a big change in the music scene, and I'm so happy you're back. Thank you very much. We're coming back with more. We're hanging with Christine McVie today on All Star Jam. Stay with us.